friends, I am Rakhi and you are watching my educational YouTube channel that is uh, Biology Prospects. So uh, I hope you are uh, fit and fine and uh, you are already uh, observe or just uh, go through my previous slides or previous presentations also. So my previous presentation, uh, the circulatory system part uh, 4, I think part 4 I have already completed and there we uh, have already learned that is the internal and external structure of heart different type of the blood vessels and obviously the heart uh, blood groups a b o blood groups and so called that so over all, all these other things we have already learned all these things so today's our topic how blood circulated through the heart or so called that is how the heart pump the blood through the throughout of our body so friends pehla uh, topic here hai ki hamare jo ye heart work karte hain this is the function this is a particular one heartbeat complete of a one heartbeat it is included in a particular uh, uh, name that is we call the cardiac cycle so today is our topic that is cardiac cycle what is the duration of the cardiac cycle how the cardiac cycle perform in, in human particular human healthy human body and uh, there's some uh, co-related few terms also today we will uh, learn through the ppt okay and uh, one more topic I discuss, uh, it is include, newly included in your syllabus, that is ECG, what is electrocardiograph, clear? So today's our topic, that is uh, complete cardiac cycles, and in the cardiac cycle, the two topics are very important, that is systole and the diastole, and these are the two topics explained to the PPT, okay? I hope you understand, and very patiently, you obviously watch my videos, and uh, whatever your uh, comments, positive, negative, whatever it is, please, uh, you just write it in the chat box. I always welcome your uh, comments because it is helps me. It has helped me to uh, improve my videos properly. And uh, obviously, if you like and if you want, for, uh, if you want, uh, want to get the notification of my update uh, videos positively, you just click in the bell icon. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel so okay i just uh, already in my desktop i have prepared the ppts uh, let let comes and i just okay you see what are the ppts uh, ready for you come on uh, friends uh, now i just start uh, today's topic that is the cardiac cycles so okay uh, i have already told you that is a uh, cardiac cycles means our one of one heartbeat complete the one heartbeat and how the but our heart human heart pump the blood throughout the body so uh, the sequence of uh, first topic that is the what is cardiac cycle if i define the cardiac cycles the two or three few words are very commonly comes in our minds so first thing is that the cardiac cycles means the sequence of the events which takes place during the completion of one heartbeat is known as the cardiac cycle what is the meaning of this other definition actually the meaning of this definition is uh, sequence wise means uh, one one time two times three times uh, like that is a one one sequence wise uh, few events take place uh, that means auricular systoles auricular diastoles a ventricular systoles ventricular diastoles and then again after uh, re joint diastole and again these are the auricular systole auricular diastole so uh, rhythm rhythmically or so can that is the uh, cy cyclic way okay uh, sequence wise the cyclic way uh, few uh, phenomena take place clear so this is for uh, during the completion of the one heartbeat is known as the cardiac cycle normally so one heartbeats uh, about the 72 times per minute if we just uh, compare as uh, a compare if we just uh, calculate a healthy person's heartbeat that is in per minute it is 72 times it should be varied in the different times because uh, for the sports parts in the heartbeat increase somewhere okay in the child or the newborn babies the heartbeat may be different in different times okay it is not fixed but a normal healthy person that is the per minute the heartbeat that is the 72 times and these are the 72 times in sequence wise these are the three events which are already uh, written in the ppt and you have observed over there the three events three sequence are occurs uh, cyclic way or just a sequence way so it is involved a repeated contraction is term as systole and the relaxation is a term diastoles okay 
so what is systole and what is diastole these are also the new two terms are there systole means uh, when the two we have already know first of all we have already know that is the human heart there's a four chamber heart and this is a heart that is a four chamber first upper two chamber that is right side upper chamber and the left side upper chamber these are uh, known as the artery or the uh, auricular parts okay and uh, the lower chamber lower the, uh, there's a left side and the right side both are the chambers uh, that is known as the ventricles or ventricular parts so here that is the arteries and the ventricles of the left side and the right side all these are the four chambers when it is contract sequence wise not the together i'm telling when it is contract sequence wise that means uh, one by one sequence wise it is contract uh, that is known as systole and when it is a uh, relax relax means the uh, pressure the blood pressure or the whatever the bloods it is contained is the particular part it is uh, relax uh, or it's relief or move, uh, remove the blood part okay so relaxation time it is known as the diastole this is uh, uh, all, uh, only happen because of the heart muscles obviously in our body the muscular parts it helps us for the contraction and expansion of the all the organs so same thing happens in the heart also so when the heart systole and the diast uh, sorry when the heart artery uh, artery arterial uh, auricular part of the atria and the ventricular part these are the uh, contract that is known as the systole and uh, when it is the relax i mean uh, there is a no pressure over there so that is the relax time that is known as the diastole in this are the two cardiac cycle i repeat these are the two terms very frequently so please you just keep in your mind what is systole and what is diastole this systole and the diastole is a systematically sequence wise take place in a particular one duration and these are the duration duration that is known uh, included the cardiac cycle so called that is the sequence of events which take place during the complete of the one heartbeat clear that is what one cardiac cycle and uh, uh, when a human baby born at the uh, just after the birth till uh, up to the uh, till the death okay uh, first born to the death this is the whole life span this heartbeat it is the rhythmically uh, due to the cardiac muscles these are the heartbeat should be continue and this is the portion that is the cardiac cycles are completely maintain the blood circulation or so called that is the blood pumping so i told that is the cardiac cycle this is actually the sequence of the events which take place during the uh, one of heartbeat is i hope this is okay so one complete heartbeat or the cardiac cycle consists to one systole and the one diastole and it is uh, very important that whole cardiac cycle one cardiac cycle it is last for about 0.8 seconds friends the total cardiac cycles okay the whole cardiac cycle that is the take a uh, timing that is 0.8 no uh, 8 seconds clear and the events take place during the completion of the one heartbeat these are the three events occur during the uh, one heartbeat and these are the three events are joint diastole that is take uh, during duration is uh, 0.4 seconds second the auricular systoles or so called that is the arteries are uh, systoles systole means uh, the auricular part contract and auricular parts diastole both are the the uh, uh, phenomena both are the things that take the time approximate very frequently these are the things happen so there is a uh, timing it is the duration is 0.1 seconds and the third that is the ventricular systole and the ventricular diastole it is take a 0.3 seconds the so whole all the in the uh, among these are the three phenomena but these are three events okay all total 0.8 seconds it is complete the whole one cardiac cycle like that the per minute the 72 times a heartbeat that is 72 times the cardiac cycle take place in a particular a normal human body is it clear for everyone now for the next slides I uh, before i just enter these are the three types or the three events i just going to explain a uh, few uh, terms which are important for uh, few terms which is important that um, help us to know uh, for the uh, better of these are the three different uh, events how these are the three different events take place clear so now for the next slides i just going to enter to explain that uh, that are the three terms okay 
So uh, our next slide, I, I'm going to explain the few terms which is related of these are the three events which occurs in a um, complete of the one cardiac cycle. What are these are the three topics? Let's see there. What is heartbeat? I've already repeat this at that point that is the sequence of the events which take place during the completion of uh, one heartbeat. So what is heartbeat? Heartbeat, this is the word actually related contraction and the relaxation of the auricles and the ventricles rhythmically of the heart to pump out and receive the blood to and the form the body called the heartbeat. The, what is the meaning of that one? Well, let me uh, explain about this. So actually the meaning is that rhythmically means uh, sequence wise. Okay, sequence wise it is uh, complete the contraction and the relaxation. The contraction means systole and the relaxation means diastole. These are the two uh, phenomena, there are the two things that take place in these are the four chambers uh, uh, according to the um, movement of the blood. So auricles and the ventricles, these are the two parts, these are the two parts in the right side and the left side. So four chamber of human heart that is pump out some one place the bloods enter for the purification and another side the blood pump out from our body and it is uh, just move uh, throughout the body for the performing various activities. So the rhythmic contraction and the relaxation of the auricles and the ventricles of the heart to pump out and the receive blood okay to and the form. The body, this is called heartbeat and that is the one heartbeat It is related, it is uh, uh, complete the one cardiac cycle. Is clear? Now another one term comes that is what is heart rate. So friends, heart rate that means, uh, but, uh, what uh, heart rate this was is all, uh, always related with the heartbeat also, clear? So exactly we just telling this one, the human heartbeat at the rate of about 72 times per minute in the resting condition it is always the when the resting condition normal condition the human heart beats at the rate of about 72 times per minute okay but it is about 130 times in the newborn babies clear that means i already told the previous slide also the heart rate it is maybe somewhere the heartbeat it is also varied according to the situation wise as a sports parts and their heartbeat also suddenly increase because of need more and more blood supply in the cells also okay so similarly heart rate and the heartbeat both are correlated word actually the heart rate means the one heartbeat and comparatively one two three four and sequence wise in the 72 times the heart uh, beat uh, just a uh, sequence wise it is performing by a one cardiac cycles so 72 times per minute how many heartbeats are there 72 times are 72 times the heartbeat take place that is the heart rate so uh, heartbeat at the rate of about 72 times per minute in a resting condition and it is about the three one uh, 130 times in the newborn babies okay so this is the heartbeat 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 and the heart rate are correlated okay now, uh, second uh, top, uh, topic or so called that's the second uh, word which is also related that is the pulse uh, rate. And so, what's the pulse uh, rate? Actually, the pulse rate that is the beating of the heart, beating of the heart is also filled the arteries as a regular jerk. Okay, regular jerk means we already know in our blood vessels the bloods are flow. Okay, uh, when there is a valves are there, but the arteries there is a no valves. So whenever the uh, from the heart, the blood start flow the uh, uh, from arteries from the aorta the bloods release and the uh, oxygenated bloods flow through the heart. Uh, sorry, flow through the arteries. Regular jerk, this is known as the pulse. Normally we have seen the physicians are just uh, hold our hands and they are just check our pulse rate or our pulse beat. Actually this is the pulse beat means that this is the uh, how many, how the bloods uh, flow through the artery from the uh, through the heart from the arteries this one is filled and each ventricular systole start a new pulse rate obviously uh, we know that's a left ventricle part when it is relaxed that means it is remove the fresh bloods into the aorta part so these are the aorta as uh, distribute the different parts of the arteries the bloods and it is passes through so automatically ventricular systole time the one one new pulse rate generate okay and pulse rate is the same as the heartbeat because one heartbeat complete, please try to understand, one heartbeat complete, that means one cardiac cycle complete. 
one heartbeat complete means one cardiac cycle complete and for the one cardiac cycle it is consists of two part that is the auricular systole auricular diastole ventricular systole ventricular diastole when the new cardiac cycle start then the joint diastole should take place so wherever it is the pulse rate is there that is as the same of the heartbeat is it clear for everyone so beat of the heart is also felt in the arteries as regular jerk it is called pulse we and uh, each ventricular systole starts the new pulse because when the ventricular systole ventricle relax then ventric ventricle release the uh, pure bloods or uh, so called that is the oxygenated blood is the aorta part and aorta distribute the pure bloods throughout the body so that is the pulse or a new pulse uh, rate should be generated over there and that is the pulse rate is the same as the heartbeat i hope you understand this is the topic so the next topic that is pulse rate so uh, uh, friends pulse rate it is uh, just the one of the uh, mathematic uh, ratio we can say that from the mathematical calculation it is the systolic the difference between the systole and the diastolic pressure now so called that is i told that is whole uh, one cardiac cycle whole one cardiac cycle complete uh, uh, auricular systole auricular diastole ventricular systole ventricular diastole so now after complete the one cardiac cycle when the blood release from the aorta or so called that is a ventricular systole these are the two difference are creating over there one the systolic and the diastolic pressure so this is called the pulse rate and actually these are the pulse rate uh, which uh, the pulse rate we measure from the pulse from the physicians they are just measuring the uh, pulse pressure we use the speck manometer one of a uh, instrument which measure our human pulse, uh, pulse sorry blood pressure so called that is a blood pressure bp we measure the speck manometer we use our instrument instrument that is used for measuring the bp or blood pressure it is under healthy uh, person's blood pressure so that is a pulse pressure also clear the blood pressure the bp is measured 120 a milligram uh, according to the mercury level and the diastolic bp that is a diastolic blood pressure is the 80 milligram of the uh, uh, mercury level therefore the pulse pressure so called that is a bp that is in a uh, if we measuring uh, the difference for the 120 that is the systole minus the diastole that is 80 that is a 40 mm mhg that is 40 milli, uh, millimeter millimeter in the Uh, per uh, mercury uh, level so uh, so called that is the um, pulse pressure this is the difference between the systolic and the diastolic pressure uh, which is uh, called the pulse pressure and in a healthy person the systolic bp is uh, normally 120 mm hg and the diastolic bp that is the 80 mg is it clear for everyone so now we are just proceed from our next slide and in this particular slide we have already learned few terms that is what is heart beat what is heart um, what is heart beat what is heart rate what is pulse rate and what is pulse pressure so these are the all the four terms are correlated terms friends but it is varied in the different conditions so now we proceed the next slides and here i just explaining the cardiac cycle exactly what type of uh, what are the phenomena or what are the incidents take place sequence wise which explain the um, cardiac cycles properly there is a um, three sequence a three events sequentially take place over there you know already but i first write down the joint diastole second i just mark the auricular systole and third i mark the ventricular systole actually uh, uh, in this particular diagram you have seen this beside i just show the diagram you just see that diagram over here so uh, this is the start one word you have seen over there start uh, friends uh, when a newborn baby just take a birth and a new just a newborn of the baby the first time when the heart uh, start the performing already in, inside the mother's womb the heart start the performing the task so uh, that is the time that uh, one uh, cardiac cycle end and the second cardiac cycle start so the, in in between the time the two part that is the auricular and the ventricular i hope you understand auriculars there is right auricle and the left auricle and the right ventricle and the left ventricle both part at the end of the ventricular systole the ventricles relax and the atria are still diastole means still relax this is the stage is known as the joint diastole what is joint diastole i explain once again at the end of the ventricular systole the ventricles relax you have seen this is the part that is the ventricle part the lower part that is the ventricle part 
so these are the ventricle part also relax and that is the uh, auricle parts or the artery you know that one this is the artery part it is also relaxed when the both part is relaxed why they are relaxed because uh, friends contraction time it is the uh, sorry diastole time or the relaxation time the muscular part allow the bloods uh, come to enter over there is it so whenever it is relaxed that means the more space available automatically uh, from the art right artery the vena cava upper vena cava lower vena cava they carry the uh, deoxygenated blood at the same time for the left art uh, left uh, auricle part that is the from the pulmonary vein the um, pure blood also comes from the uh, uh, our lungs so whenever the two auricle part are less or until it is filled with the blood so automatically the pressure does not create so whenever the bloods are start to come and enter over there this is the place allow for the relaxation in the diastole obviously in that that is the diastole stage the lower portion that's ventricle part left and there are these are also diastole phase because they are they have not get uh, the blood from the auricle because the auricles are that time they, they fill the bloods over there so uh, this is a very uh, fraction of the time this uh, it will take a uh, 0.4 seconds yeah 0.4 second time it, it it has take so this is the time these are the two parts of uh, fourth chamber of human hearts so called the two parts there's a left and the right auricle parts and the left and the right ventricle parts both are in the relax clear both are in the diastolic stage relax stage relaxation stage so these are the two relaxation stage that is known as the joint diastole and it will take 4.0.4 seconds so this is actually the timing the upper part this one that means the auricle parts receive the bloods from the one side the impure bloods or the that is venous bloods comes and fill the right part another side the uh, pure bloods is comes and fill up the right left part so this is the type then after this is the first that is the start of the uh, one one cardiac cycle before start the one cardiac cycle when the joint diastole take place and then after the auricular systole auricular systole that is the part during the auricular systole auricular muscles contract and opening the vena cava and the pulmonary veins close tricuspid and the bicuspid valve open at the end of the systole now here when the bloods are comes and fill up the total space of the auricle that means from the right side upper vena cava that is superior vena cava and the lower vena cava that is inferior vena cava they carry the impure bloods into, into the right auricle parts at the same time the pulmonary vein they also carry the pure bloods in the left auricle parts so automatically these are the two part of the auricles right part and the left part of the auricles they are filled up with the one side right part impure and the left side pure is it clear and when these are the two parts are already filled up the that is the time these are the two valves one valves that is for the these are the one valves it is a tricuspid valve tricuspid valve present in the right parts that is right auricle and the right ventricle part that is a tricuspid valve clear that is the tricuspid valve and left auricle and the left part that is the bicuspid valve also called as the mitral valve clear bicuspid valve so these are the two valves uh, right side that is the tricuspid and left side that is the bicuspid so these are the two valve are closed unless and until they have the fill up the whole bloods in the two auricles and when the two auric that is the systolic time systolic time uh, means uh, sorry that is the auricular huh? auricular systolic time these are the muscles are contract and then after open the vena cava vena cava part means these are the part that is the vena cava part this is the part the black arrow that is the part actually the vena cava part this is the vena cava part clear so this is the part this part and that part these are the two part the vena cavas the uh, vein that is a uh, largest vein they carry the impure blood in this in the, this is the part clear and that is the part the pulmonary uh, vein pulmonary vein are carry the pure blood over there okay pulmonary veins over there and then after what happened when these are the two are the systole uh, systole time systole uh, auricular systole and the auricular muscle contract and then vena cavas are open 
and the pulmonary veins are closed. Now the veins are closed, the tricuspid and bicuspid valve are closed over there. Then after, when uh, two auricles are uh, relaxed, more venous blood is passes from the great vein into the auricles. Then the two auricles are getting a relaxed means they are start from the diastoles. Okay, when they are start from the diastole, that time these are the two uh, tricuspid and the bicuspid valve open. Unless and until it is filled up, they are closed and when they are completely filled, then they are open now. Tricuspid and the bicuspid, that is the diastole time. That means auricular systole, they fill up the blood and the auricular diastole, they are complete to fill up. And then after these are the bicuspid and tricuspid open and the blood that comes out into the ventricle. That is the impure blood, the oxidated blood from the auricle, it is comes into the right uh, ventricle. And uh, from the left vent, uh, auricle, that's uh, pure blood comes to the left uh, ventricle. And when these are the two part, that is the second phase, that is the ventricular systole. So the ventricular, before the ventricular systole, the ventricular ventricles are the diastolic, uh, diastole or relaxed part. And these are the relaxed part, it is fill up. This is the phase, that is the second, uh, you have seen that is the third picture, it is fill up. When the bloods are comes over there, this part and that part, these are the black arrows uh, tell us these are the two valves that is a bicuspid and this is the tricuspid these are open and they allow the blood come and enter into the ventricles when the ventricles are filled that time this is are in the diastolic stage relaxed stage and this is into the systole stage okay systole stage when they are completely filled okay the bloods are not allowed to go uh, return back into the auricles then what happened? Then these are the two part. That is the semilunar part, semilunar valves. This is the semilunar uh, valves, okay? Semilunar valves, and that is also the left auricle, uh, left ventricle part. That is also the semilunar valves, okay? Or semilunar aorta valves. These are open, okay? And these are the bloods are enter for the impure bloods. It is enter into the pulmonary artery. And the pure blood, it is entered into the aorta part. Clear? This is the ventricular. This is the part is there. They are entering. And thereafter for the, this part, they are, goes out into the two different way. Impure blood, it is, uh, goes to the, impure blood that is, uh, goes into the, um, impure uh, yeah, pulmonary artery. And the pure blood, it is, goes into the, aorta part is it clear so after the starting here the first that is the this is the part that is uh, these things happen these are the parts are fill up and then after this is the things these are the two uh, the part fill with the bloods and they are allowed to enter into the bloods into two ventricles and then after from there so this is the first and that is the second okay that is the second stage and this is the third stage in the blood so it is enter and then the bloods are just removed from over there. You have seen this is the impure blood. This is for the uh, pulmonary arteries and that is for the pure blood which released from the pulmonary, uh, released from the aorta. Okay. So this is the whole cycle is complete through the, these are the three different sequence wise uh, events. So first that is joint diastole in the joint diastole stage. The whole uh, four chambers that is in the relax or the diastole, so it is joint diastole. Second, the auricular systole. During the auricular systole, the auricular muscles contract and opening the vena cava. This is the part. The auricular muscles are contract and open the vena cava to vena cava. This part and that part to vena cava. The blood enter and uh, the veins are the close the tricuspid. This is the blood tricuspid and the bicuspid. These are the two valves. When these are the not fill up the bloods until they are closed and then when these are the fill, the systole stay, they take place, then these are the relax and this part open. Clear? When the bloods, uh, these are the valve open, the bloods come and enter into the ventricle parts. The ventricle parts, bloods enter and then after that time, these are the relaxation and that is the systole condition. Systole condition, they just uh, close these are the two uh, valve, tri tricuspid and the bicuspid and uh, when these are the two valve close automatically these are the semilunar valves, these are the semilunar valves, these two semilunar valves they are open and these are the bloods that flow through the 
one impure blood which is flow in the pulmonary art, uh, vein uh, sorry pulmonary artery and the pure blood is, uh, goes to the outer and again the same things happen when the bloods are relaxed or bloods are removed from the heart then again these are the joint systole condition comes and our, our, our ventricle systoles and the uh, sorry ventricle diastoles and the auricle diastole both are take place that is the uh, again joint diastole and again these are the things that repeat once again so this is the cyclic way joint diastole auricular systole and diastole ventricular systole and the diastole the whole blood are pumping through the heart from the human body okay so uh, for the next slides we are going to learn about what is heart sound uh, in the previous picture you have seen when the two valves tricuspid and the bicuspid valve are open that means they these are the tricuspid valve and that is the bicuspid valve when they are open this is the phase you have seen that is open these are the part they are open that time these two valves that means these are the semi lunar valves they are closed okay so normal heart normal human heart one cardiac cycle when they are open that means in the blue that is the ox deoxygenated impure bloods artery to the ventricle right part and uh, from the left part uh, that is the um, left artery to the left ventricle part these are the two uh, valves open and they allow the blood come and just enter into the two ventricles the same time these are the two valves that is one of the pulmonary artery and another for the aorta the semi lunar valves they are closed so friend each heartbeat is accompanied by the two heart sound the opening and the closing of the valves these are making the sounds clear opening and the closing of the valves they make the sound so each heartbeat there are the four different valves they open and they close that is the sound they are that is known as the heart sound clear so these are the two sounds are uh, uh, mark as a lob l u b and d u b dub so lob the lob sound is produced by the contraction of the ventricle muscles and the vibration start up by the closure of the tricuspid and the bicuspid valve it's a call systolic sound five systolic sound you have already seen there when these are the two valves are closed bicuspid and the tricuspid valves are closed that means these are the two part already fill with the blood from the arteries the bloods are fill that blood that part okay and this is the time for the ventricular systole clear this is the time for the ventricular systole means the ventricles start to contract automatically these two valves are close when these are the two valves are close the, that is the time of the vibration start up or the one of the vibration sounds arise that is known as lob clear that is known as the lob this is the sound lob means closing of the bicuspid and the tricuspid valve or so called that is a contraction of the uh, ventricular muscles and the vibration start up by the closure of the tricuspid and the bicuspid valve so that is a systolic sound means ventricular systole sounds similarly the dub, dub it is the cause by the closure of the semi lunar valves of the aorta and the pulmonary trunk or so called as a pulmonary artery i'm just telling trunk means the pulmonary arteries okay you have seen over there that is the two parts again open but when they are open automatically the these are the part they are closed that means they, now it is the ventricle that is in the diastolic stage relaxed stage why it is relaxed because they are already pump out the blood in the this two part aorta and the pulmonary vein part and now they are waiting for the fill up the blood from the uh, aorta uh, sorry fill up the blood from the auricles part so that is the time when the semi lunar valves are closed that is the time when a sound produced that is known as the dub so i hope that everybody understand what is lob and what is dub these are the heart sound which produced by the opening and the closing of the valves in the particular human heart when the ventricles are the systole that is a systolic sound that is lob that is the closure of the tricuspid and bicuspid valve and when the uh, ventricles are in the diastole means the relax that time the two bicuspid and tricuspid open but the semi lunars that is a one of a uh, aorta semi lunar semi lunar valves of the aorta that is a pure carry the pure blood from the left and a, a pulmonary trunk or the pulmonary uh, artery that is for uh, carry the impure blood from the left uh, sorry right part so th that is a diastolic so uh, that is a ventricular diastolic part so this is the two sounds are produced in human heart and uh, these are the sounds are um, measured by the 
pulse rate that is the okay pulse rate time the pulse speed whatever we measure that is actually the ventricular systoles and diastoles okay this we measure and that is a love and the dub sounds are oh, just uh, experiments over there okay so each heartbeat that is accompanied two type of the sound heart sound there's a love and the dub and the dub sound love sound that is for the that is uh, love sound that is the lower and the last longer it is produced the contraction of the ventricular muscles and uh, the vibration set up by the closure of the tricuspid and the bicuspid valves okay and the dub sound it is caused of by the closure of the semilunar valve clear so it is a short and the sharp time okay so uh, now for the next slides it is uh, in, uh, included in the icc syllabus uh, this year so that is the ecg electrocardiograph what is ecg uh, dear friends, uh, actually ECG, it is actually we just measure the ventricular systole and the ventricular diastoles, okay. Because uh, auricular parts, it is accept, the, receive the bloods, but the ventricular parts, it is uh, remove or relieve the bloods from the uh, heart part. So, that is the uh, ventricle systole and the ventricle diastole, it is actually measure how many bloods accept and how many bloods it is released from the particular heart. So, ECG that is electrocardiogram, it is a one of a uh, one of a um, graphic record, so called that is a graphic record of the electric variation produced during the heartbeat or the cardiac cycles, okay. So, that is known as the electrocardiogram 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 that is a one of the this is the graph you have shown this is the electrocardiogram clear that is a electrocardiogram ecg actually uh, electrocardiogram now you ask me ma'am where the electric actually electrical that is a one of the electrical instrument we used to observe the working of the heart clear one of the instrument we use to observe the working of our heart and the, our cardiologist the, or the physician, they can find out the defect to these are the uh, instrument if there is any heart problem. So, in this is the instrument actually known as the electrocardiograph and in this instrument the normal human heartbeat, it is just whatever the graphical representation I show on the slide, this is the uh, normal human heartbeat representation clear so this is the graph that is known as the electrocardiogram now uh, actually these are the electric impulsion produced by the heart are picking up of the electrodes attached in the different post position of the body in our body the different parts especially in the uh, two arms or the left legs chest okay so and the passes through the galvanometer one of a instrument that is a measure the electrical movements or very short movements of the the movements of the blood inside the auricles and the ventricles the galvanometer it is fitted and the electrograph these are the particular graphical representation representation comes in front of our sight so that is an instrument used to observe the working of the heart is called the electrocardiograph that ecg and here is the graphical representation you have shown on the screen actually that is the electrocardiogram or the graphical record of an electric vibration which produced by the uh, one heartbeat or one cardiac cycles now uh, uh, there are a few points I have mentioning over there that is a P Q R S T you have seen in this uh, particular graph so what is the meaning of this a P Q R S T uh, friends P these whole are the one of a electrical wave that is recorded by the galvanometer okay so p wave represent us that is the electrical excitation of the atria what is the excitation that is the systolic stage when the bloods after the relaxation are diastole the systolic stage when the bloods are full with the atria parts in the normal condition of a human the both artery both artery contraction and the uh, uh, that is the both artery i'm telling you left and the right both artery left uh, artery and the right artery both artery when the waves uh, represent electrical excitement of the atria both artery to the contraction of the systole systole is important and diastole means the relaxation already relieved the blood the systole means uh, how much blood or how much things uh, blood should be received so systole means the systole condition that is the uh, it is completely full or fill up the packed uh, pa uh, the chamber now they just start to contract and they just uh, release the blood for the next part of the heart so the systole condition of atria that is represent into the p part clear now qrs qrs that is the complex representation 
of the ventricles contract or contraction of the systole now this is the part it is the ventricle systole ventricle systole means after from the artery the uh, two arteries the blood that comes and fill the ventricle parts now it is the turn of the ventricle they get contraction of the systole condition and they release the blood for the next part next part means left artery left ventricle after the systole they relax the blood into the uh, sorry they just passes the blood into the next part means uh, that is aorta and the right uh, ventricle that is they release the blood into the part of uh, pulmonary trunk or so called pulmonary artery so what is these are the part they relax that is the representation of the ventricles contraction of the system that is qrs uh, friends these are the ecg graph whatever you see in the screen that is a normal normal human with normal blood pressure okay so now the t wave is represent of the return of the ventricle from the x side to the normal state and end that means the t wave that is for the represents the return of the ventricle from the x side it means when the diastole take place the, the ventricles are become a diastole or ventricles are relax okay and this is the state end of the ventricle excitement and when ventricle become normal and end of the t wave whenever the t wave end you have seen again the p wave started over there is it again the p wave i just started over here so this is the second uh, cardiac cycle has to be started over here so first this this one that is the first cardiac cycle it is completed p that is the two both side two auricles uh, they are the fill up the, uh, sorry the systolic time the contraction time of the two auricles how much blood they receive and then after how they release from the two ventricle parts that is p represent then the qrs these are the two parts of the uh, that is the ventricles uh, systoles ventricle systoles means how, whatever the blood are received by from auricles to the ventricle ventricle now it is turn of the ventricle there is the, they just release that uh, blood for the left part uh, release the blood to the aorta and right part they release the blood for the pulmonary trunk or the pulmonary aorta so this is the part represent that one q r s and then after these are the flat and then again it is the little bit curve that is the t and this is the t is explain the ventricle diastole also called as a ventricles relax from the excited to the relaxed state or the normal state of the ventricle when the t ends again the p is repeat one they were so we so called we say that this is the graphical representation of the p q r s t the whole things uh, of the um, electrocardiogram okay the variation the graphic record of the electric variation produced during the heartbeat or the cardiac cycles is called the total electrocardiogram the whole things that is a one heartbeat or one cardiac cycles is it clear now and ab any abnormalities in the working of the heart change the wave pattern of the ecg a cardiologist or the physician can easily find out and detect the heart by the heart by the examining of the ecg okay so that's ecg is the emission the diagnostic value with the cardiac disease automatically if any kind of the cardiac disease or cardiac failures these are the frequency these are the waves getting disturbed so cardiologist immediately detect the disturbance okay so this is important to uh, just uh, check out check the um, uh, normal status of our human heart so uh, that's all today's topic friends so you know today's topic we have learned the different parts of the uh, our so called that is a different uh, parts of the cardiac cycles parts means different events have events means three events over there joint diastole auricular systole diastole and ventricular systole diastole then there they are all total duration is 0.8 seconds and there is a 4 seconds for 0.4 seconds for joint diastole 0.1 seconds for auricular systole diastole and 0.3 seconds for the ventricular systole and the diastole okay and then after a few definitions we learn over there and here i just explain the what is cardiac cycle the first it is start from here that is the both are the cyst auricles and the ventricles are cyst uh, diastolic or the relaxed stage the second stage the ventricles uh, sorry auricles are allow the bloods come and fill with the ventricles okay so auricles getting uh, diastoles and the ventricles are start uh, relaxation over the uh, sorry ventricles are the diastoles also okay so in there's a bloods are come and enter over there then after when the bloods entering into the ventricles parts automatically auricle becomes uh, again systoles they also start to get, get the blood from outside and ventricles part they are just release the bloods through the Uh, opening their valves so first uh, stage that is the third stage the bicuspid and the tricuspid open and that time semilunars are closed that time the bloods are comes and enter into the uh, ventricle parts and the second phase that is the uh, bicuspid and the tricuspid close and the semilunars are open and they allow the bloods to enter into the 
artery uh, aorta and the pulmonary trunk place okay so these are the five stage five in our heart these are completed and again after just release the blood from the ventricles stoles again the ventricles and the auricles are in the diastolic forms and di uh, diastolic forms again the auricles are start to receive the bloods from outside and this is the cyclic way these are the total works has to be completed in the particular one one cardiac second and all total in a particular one minute the 72 is a normal human beings the 72 uh, cardiac cycles take place okay this is known as the heartbeat clear and the next stage we just learn next topic we learn the heart sound that is lob and the dub actually these are the two sound produced by the closing of the valves first uh, 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 tricuspid and the bicuspid uh, valve close the semilunars are open that is for the lob and the, when the semilunars are closed and the bicuspid and tricuspid open that is for a dub so these are the two uh, the um, sounds are produced and the last slides we explain the cardiograph that is the electrocardiograph it is the three uh, sorry five different um, um, uh, points i just mentioned over there galvanometer which are just a uh, calculate the electrical movements also called the heart move, blood movement from the bloods from the heart this is actually in the graphical representation that is the electrocardiograms okay so uh, i hope you understand all the topics properly for the next class we will explain the double circulation and the portal uh, blood circulation system also portal system also okay so i hope that you understand the topics nicely and if you understand properly please don't forget to uh, like share and uh, just uh, uh okay so uh, subscribe also and then after you uh, for my latest updation or latest notification uh, if you want to get the latest notification please you don't forget to click the, um, the bell icons so that's all uh, today's topic mm -hmm. bye bye have a nice day